Good morning Karate Nerds! Today I'm doing a very special video, a day in my life, in the life of the Karate Nerd. And so I'm going to take you on just a regular day in my life when I'm not on the road or traveling or competing or teaching seminars, just so you guys can see what I'm doing when I'm not all over the world. Alright, so it's time for breakfast and one of my favorite breakfasts consists of the banana pancake. So I got a half a banana that I'm smashing up right here and this feels like a cooking show. Then two eggs, just crack them puppies in there, one, two, and then regular people would have two eggs but you guys know I'm all about them gains, bro. So I need one more egg. Just give me one sec. Boom. And then all we do is mix this up. And it's so simple. You don't need anything else. So today I don't have anything special on my schedule. It's just a regular day. I'm going to be training. I'm going to be teaching classes in my dojo. I'm going to be meeting up with my managing partner and an employee at Station International, one of my companies. And uh, then let's see what happens. I like to stay pretty flexible in my day-to-day -day schedule. Got to have them frozen berries. This is like a super food, fruity, super duper berries. Awesome. Oh, I can... Uh, Press the coffee while we're waiting. This is like meditation. You guys recognize this? This cup right here? I made it in my Okinawa web series that I put on the internet like uh, last year, I think. So it's actually handmade by moi in Okinawa. Oh yeah. Now it's time to flip this pancake right here. See that? It's beautiful. Okay, I'm not going to throw it in the air. It's just going to stick to the ceiling. Ta-da! This part! Woo! Berries. Last nuts. I love chocolate. The secret is to put the chocolate on immediately because it will start to melt since the pancake is hot. By the way guys, do you see this map behind me? There are these pins in different countries because when I moved into this apartment I had this fun idea that I would have this map and I would put a pin into every country that I visited. But after I visited like 35 countries or something I just lost track. So I'm not even using that anymore, but it's a fun memory. <clears throat> now, if you excuse me, I've got to take a photo of my food. Because as we all know, if it's not on the internet, it didn't exist. I know some people who brush their teeth before they have breakfast. That's just crazy. As always, I'm the first. First in, last out. That's my motto when it comes to the dojo. Usually the only people who are here in the morning are me, my mom and my brother Oliver, but he's in the US right now. Okay, so today's training session is I gotta look at my plans right here. I'm doing some speed and agility and plyometric stuff. Chuck is my homeboy. All right. I got this rumble roller here as well for some nasty warm up stuff.
Welcome to my second home. Last time I did these exercises were like was like last year I think. Good morning. Okay, here we go. Alright, that's it for this session, roughly two hours later. Now time for some lunch and recovery. Before lunch, you gotta have some post-workout snack, right? Hmm. I think it's not ready yet. Maybe I'll wait a week. at the dojo time to pay some bills believe it or not my life is not just karate training and eating I actually have to pay bills like regular human beings and this bunch right here is actually for my company Seishin International because when you order a karate uniform or the Seishin bag or a black belt or whatever online you get free shipping right worldwide but newsflash shipping is not free Somebody has to pay it, and here I am, right? And oh, by the way, look at this thing right here. This is a work of art. Because in 2015, when I organized my annual Karate Nerd Experience, I had Sensei Hokama Tetsuhiro, the Grand Master with 10th degree black belt from Okinawa as one of the instructors. And I brought him a Seishin Gi, and then he did his beautiful shodo calligraphy on the actual gi and so when I brought it back home here I just had to frame it and put it on the wall and uh, this big sign right here is what he believes is the most important thing in karate nin or patience never giving up right and then since we're at it I have this as well this was given to me by Higona Morio sensei 10th dan as well in Okinawa and this right here I got from Toyama Zenshu Sensei, also 10th Dan in Okinawa. And this was a gift from Zenpo Shimabukuro Sensei, also 10th Dan. A lot of 10th Dan masters who give me gifts for some reason, but whatever. It's just fun to have. Not that I care about belts that much, but it's fun memories. Anyway, back to the bills. Mm -hmm. Gotta go for the meeting and pick up a package on the way. And then it's the regular class here at the dojo, but now it's holiday season, so I don't know how many people will show up. And I just realized I forgot my car keys, because we've got to take the car. Got it. Man, the weather is getting really nice. Maybe we'll have some time to go to the beach after training. Be right back. Alright, more bills. And then... I guess, I think this is a Seishin bracelet. 
Probably somebody ordered the wrong size, so they had to return it. Sometimes they send it to me instead of the warehouse. That's not a problem. I'll help them with the refund or the exchange anyway. Now let's go to the meeting. <laughs> I'm not sure that was on purpose, but Marcus and Ludwig has a matching outfit. <laughs> we got it on camera. This is crazy. Come on, gosh. In the station uniform. That was so funny. They had on matching outfits without knowing it. I felt like I was the third wheel. <laughs> anyway, we had a good discussion about some upcoming secret products for Seishin, including uh, some strategy around branding and marketing. And uh, now I think we have like uh, six minutes until training starts. So better get going. Let's see if we have any people attending today. Like I said before, it's holiday times over here. They started without me. It's like three or four students only. And mom already started the class. Let me spin this thing around. As you can see guys, my mom is in there right now because she's the head sensei of the dojo, right? She's teaching some brutal exercises and then I'm gonna come in and teach some other exercises using a stick as a training tool. Plus maybe the kata tensho and some drills from that. Depends on how much time we have. Let's see. Alright, karate class is finished. Next up is Kobudo, the art of using karate's ancient weapons from Okinawa. And of course, originally, the empty hands and the weapon arts went together. Today, in the modern karate, most people only do the empty hand stuff, the karate stuff. 
but this is a traditional dojo, so we practice all of the weapons as well. But first, a snack. Classes are over. Now, time to hit the beach. Swimming trunks, towel, all you need for a quick dip in the lake. Oh yeah. Jackpot. Look at that. Two cute blueberries. I wonder if they're organic. Not. Mm -mm. You can see the beach down there. It's not exactly Ibiza or anything, but it's water and sand. Here we are. All right, guys, that's it. It's almost 9 p.m. You've been with me the whole day watching behind the scenes in the life of a karate nerd and that's me now leave a comment and let me know if you guys have any questions i'm about to swim off in the sunset catch you guys later <laughs>